in today's video I'm going to be going over one of the best plays in Madden 21. This play torches every defense in the game and has a couple of the most powerful routes in Madden 21 paired together in one simple play that you can actually set up in multiple ways. But we're going to show you the best way to set this play up in Madden 21 here in just a second. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my channel before, my channel focuses in on helping people get better at Madden 21. Now, I am not the best player in the world, but I study this game a lot and I've learned a lot about this game and I'm very, very excited to share that knowledge with you here on my channel. So be sure to subscribe at the bottom right hand corner of your screen for every single day. I post four videos a day on YouTube and I stream live every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time so I'd love for you to be able to come and hang out with us also if you haven't heard I've started a text message membership that's a hundred percent free of charge and basically what those are is those are pro level ebook e-guide high quality level um, tips schemes and breakdowns for you that I do every single week just for my text message members it doesn't go out to my discord members doesn't go out to my YouTube channel subscribers doesn't even go out to my ebook members this is simply for people who have subscribed to the text message membership which is very very simple to do literally just shoot me a text and let me know you'd like to be a part of it my cell phone number is 812-216-3644 I'd love to be able to meet you and yes that is my personal uh, cell phone number so you won't you're, you're not gonna be dealing with any robots or anything like that all right, let's jump in. So I've been really practicing a lot with this gun tray offset out of the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. And there's, there's, this is very similar to the trips tight end formation that can be found in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. In my opinion, the New England Patriots still have a better trips tight end, but the gun tray offset in Arizona is actually very, very good and hand, and does stand its own or hold its own against the, you know the best of the best trips tight end offenses and when you combine that with everything else that we've shown you from Arizona specifically in our Madden 21 competitors guide which you can pick up in the description um, this becomes a really really solid offense especially when you sprinkle it in with everything else that you could do from the Arizona Cardinals playbook so the play we're going to be talking about is PA post shot and we're going to show you this has some of the best routes in Madden 21 and we're going to show you why here in just a second but basically this is this is kind of uh, one of my favorite plays against you know really a lot of different coverages um, the, the main thing that I like to do with this is I like to take my my tight end here if you have a tight end uh, apprentice this makes this offense really really click I'm gonna show you um, how to use a tight end apprentice and then how to use this if you don't have a tight end apprentice as well um, but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna smart route McCall Hardman Tyreek Hill is on the deep crosser route which is one of the best routes in Madden and then what we're going to basically do is we're gonna take our tight end apprentice Travis Kelsey I like to put him on either a crossing route or a post route it's up to you um, I think maybe the post route will work a little bit better against man um, the crossing route in my opinion works a little bit better against zone coverage from there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Sammy Watkins and put him on a drag route or, or a fade route it's optional it's depending on what you want to beat if you want to be better against man-to-man -man, then I would suggest a drag route if you want to be better against zone then I would suggest a fade route and then the running back is either going to be on a wheel route, an option route, or an out route. It's kind of up to you, honestly. Uh, option routes from this formation work really, really well against man, and we'll show you that here in just a second. But your first read on this is actually your drag. Now, as you see there, Stephon Gilmore with the, with the acrobat ability is going to be fairly effective against this, which is why you can also, like if you put your tight end on a crossing route, then, then you could put your you could put this underneath guy Sammy Watkins you could put him on a slant and then it's not gonna run into competition with your crossing route right so this is gonna allow you to beat man-to-man -man. if you want to you could use that as well that that's just I would personally rather use a drag route if I know that I'm gonna be able to put my tight end on a crossing route um, just as a safety valve 
if they're in, you know, if they're in any kind of zone coverage, you know, this is going to be very, very good for a zone drops type of stuff. But you see that this tight end on this crossing route is going to absolutely torch man-to-man -to -man coverage. Now, make sure that you smart route that left side post route. If you don't smart route him, as you saw right there, he is going to run kind of into your tight end. But what you'll see here is both of these crossing routes are going to torch man-to-man. -to -man. You see that it causes a man switch, and Travis Kelsey beats his man by a solid 5 to 10 yards uh, over the middle of the field. So crossing routes are really, really powerful uh, from this formation. Now, if you put him on a post route, what you'll see here is it's not going to be as, um, in my opinion, it's not going to be as dominant. But it will still be effective. You'll see here you can pass it. But see what I'm saying where that they kind of run into each other. That's why the crossing route for me works a little bit better and is a little bit more consistent um, with the flow of this play. Now, you can set this play up multiple ways, and we'll have multiple setups for you from this play, but that's one of them. So the double crossing routes with the post route and the slant route and then this little quick route to the back. And what you'll see is this is, I mean, this is really, really hard for the defense to defend. The crossing route on the right side or from left to right to Tyreek Hill torches man-to-man -man coverage, as you can see right there. If you have someone that has, like, slot -o -matic, I highly recommend uh, putting them in that position. And then this route to the left side, if you have good deep route running, you have a good receiver out there, he will get open. He will get that inside position against that man-to-man -man coverage. You'll see here, I can you see how you get that diving catch animation against the man-to-man -man coverage. So now what the defense is going to try to do um, is they're going to try to put their purple zones at, let's say they put them at like 20 to 25 yards, and they're going to try to stop these crossing routes. The only issue for the defense in that is that's going to leave them vulnerable to several other things on the field. Uh, most notably, this post route over the middle of the field. You'll see here, uh, this post route is going to torch man-to-man -man by a lot of yardage, especially if you have speed in that position. That's where this offense starts to become borderline unstoppable because they can't really, they cannot afford to not have somebody in the deep middle of the field. So what you're going to see them have to do is they're literally going to have to max coverage you. And when they start max coveraging you, and also when they max coverage you, they're going to be forced to do that um, in a way that's not necessarily conducive to what they want to do from a max coverage. It's more so to stop specific routes. So what you'll see here, this um, slant route to Sammy Watkins, if that was any other corner, he would be torching him. Um, Stephon Gilmore doesn't allow himself to get kind of in the play, but I do want you to be aware of the fact that for the most part with this, um, these crossing routes will also get open at multiple points. That's the other thing. So you see how this crossing route and this man in my coverage, he's going to get open right in here too. Whoops, I threw it a little bit too late on there. Um, but that crossing route will get open uh, at multiple points uh, against the man-to-man -man coverage. The other thing that you, you have to understand with this, in my opinion, is you have to understand the fact that these crossing routes are multi-window routes. Meaning, like I just said, both of them are going to get open on the cut, which is a little bit earlier than the cover three, but or the, the, the cloud flaps. One last thing I want to talk about cross routes for just one more second. Um, a lot of you will probably run into these this kind of max coverage defense. Cover one with two purples, shaded coverage outside, shaded coverage over top. Let me show you one little thing that you can do with this, um, especially if you're like Tyreek Hill. You have a Tyreek Hill. Once he cuts, lob it up, and you could actually have a shot at that getting over the top of the defense. One other thing that you can do is if you have like a good receiver, it doesn't always happen from this play, but if you have something like this, like the Sammy Watkins uh, in this position, then you can run that same combination. They're going to be expecting a crossing route. Now you're running basically a post route to um, to. Sammy Watkins, but it's a deep, kind of deep crossing shot route. And what you'll see here is he's going to get over that purple zone. So if you have someone that can run that route, which Sammy Watkins can't, as you see, Jonathan Jones is able to box him. But if you have someone with good route running that can run that route, that now allows you to beat man to man all over the field uh, with multiple different things uh, from this formation. Now with cover, uh, again with Sammy Watkins, his little, little slant route, this route does work, as you can see here. I mean, it's going to work against man-to-man. -man. It's going to be a nice check down for you. Uh, the slant route serves as basically a check down with the deep crossing combination being very, very effective. Now really quickly, let me show you this against some type of zone coverage that you might see. Um, 
which I'm sure you will see some zone coverage. The first read against zone coverage is this tailback route. Most of the time, they're going to forget about he even exists in zone coverage, and you're going to be able to get an automatic 3 to 4 to 5 to maybe 10 to 15 yards uh, at a time with that specific route. And then we'll show you these crossing routes. Now, I do have my purple zone shaded back, so they should be able to kind of hang with these crossing routes, as you'll see here. If I try to throw this crossing route, Travis Kelsey, I can... You know, I can I kind of kind of fit it in, but it's not super open um, on either side. It's not going to be um, extremely. It's not going to be just wide open, you know. But what you're going to be able to see here in just a second is these underneath slant routes will get wide open, and you can you can easily fit those in. Um, the defense is not going to cover those. And then the cool part about all of it is this post route to McCall Hartman is a multi-window route as well. You have so many multi-window crossers um, from this formation. But when he cuts down to the middle of the field, um, you see that, I mean, the deep blue, if they have a middle third, middle third is going to do okay against it. Um, the one thing I would stress to you, though, is understanding the fact that you have multiple multi-window routes. And when I say... When I say the defense is over pursuing, I mean they're putting their cloud flats, or I'm sorry, their curl flats at 20, 25 yards, backing them off to really defend these crossers. If they're not backed off, these crossers are going to go for 40 yards, 30 to 40 yards a pop. So they pretty much have to do that. Otherwise, the crossing routes get open. But once they do that, the beauty of this trips tight end or tray offset formation is you basically have a flood concept on both sides of the field. Um, they're going to hit them for big, big gains. And then when they start really trying to take that away, then what's going to basically happen is these little slant routes, these little underneath patterns, are going to start becoming wide open. You'll see that right here, um, right here, the crossing routes open to Tyreek Hill. But you'll see here in just a second, this, um, the, these, these slant routes, these underneath little crossing routes, not the deep ones, the underneath ones, will become much, much more open against the zone coverage, which you'll see that right here. Uh, see how that slant route becomes wide open if, if Mahomes can make that throw. So this is a really, really good play. There's more that you can do with this against cover three. Um, there's Cover three probably defends this play, in my opinion, uh, but there was one zone that's going to give this a little bit of trouble. Uh, the cover three is going to be the best one because the post route's not as open against the cover three, but you still have so many other things open. Uh, within this offense and it's just an amazing offense the way the routes really really work well together so uh, i want to leave you right there make sure you're subscribed make sure you join the text message message membership we've got more tips out of this formation coming today i've uh, been working on this a little bit i love this formation especially adding it into what i'm already doing from the arizona cardinals ebook and if you haven't picked up my full ebook on the Arizona Cardinals offense and the 46 defense. It's a complete Madden 21 competitor's guide. It is in the description of this video. If you haven't picked it up yet, I would highly, highly encourage you to do that. We have over 125 pages of breakdowns and material. It's a very, very in-depth guide, and trust me, you get exactly what you pay for with this. This guide is your one guide that you need to be successful in Madden 21. So I'd highly encourage you to pick up that ebook. We're going to be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Got some more videos coming for you today on our YouTube channel, so make sure to check back. Uh, got some more stuff from this scheme coming. And again, if you want to get the, if you want to get some full schemes um, every week, if you want to get some really really unique stuff sent to you every week, I'd highly encourage you to just shoot me a text and let me know you want to be a part of the text message membership. Thank you so much for your time, and we will see you guys later on this afternoon.